All right, now here we've got the Galaxy Watch Ultra, which is currently running on a One UI Watch 6.0 based on Wear OS 5. And this is the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, currently running on One UI 5.0 based on Wear OS 4.0. Now the Galaxy Watch 6 series, 5 series, as well as 4 series, which are based on Wear OS, will get this all new iteration of One UI, which is the One UI 6.0 based on Wear OS 5. So you might be interested in knowing all those new features that are coming to the, uh, these predecessors. So in in this video, let's do a quick comparison of uh, One UI 6.0 versus the One UI 5.0 for the watches. And let's see which are the new features that you're going to get on your Galaxy Watch if you own any of the predecessors of the Galaxy Watch 7. Let's go ahead. First, let's take a look at this quick panel. There is a small change in the animations. You see, when I swipe down from the top of the screen, uh, the uh, battery percentage and this Bluetooth icon shows a slightly different animation here. Do you see? When I swipe down, here the battery percentage and this uh, Bluetooth icon comes down along with the other icons, other toggles here at the same time, whereas there is a slight delay here, which is kind of cool, which looks nice. Let me show you that again. You see, it slowly comes down after these toggles come down when we swipe down from the top of the screen. Now that's a small change that you're going to notice on the quick panel when you pull it down. Now there are some brand new tiles which have been added on uh, One UI 6.0. Let me just show you that. Let's see a few of them here. You see the all new ECG tile looks like this. It has got this cool animation touch here. Uh, we've got this huge big heart sitting here with this uh, ECG animation, which looks pretty good. This is the previous version that we have. And this is the blood pressure uh, tile that you see here. This is the latest blood pressure tile. And this is the previous version. This is the new tile that we have for the world clock. This is the previous version. And we also have another new tile here on One UI Watch 6.0, uh, which two different cities. You see this looks pretty cool. And this is not available on the previous version. And this is the all new battery percentage tile. You see, it is slightly bolder on the new version, whereas on the previous version, this is how it looks. We've got this brand new calculator tile as well on One UI Watch 6. And this is not available on the previous iteration. Now let's take a look at some new health styles we have got on the One UI Watch 7. You see we have got AGS Index. Now this feature is not coming to the Galaxy Watch 6 because AGS Index requires the all new bioactive sensor which is not available on the predecessor so you will not get it. So this style will not be coming to the, your uh, watch. Then we have got a blood oxygen tile here, body composition tile, cycle tracking and we have got energy score tile which will be coming to the Galaxy Watch uh, 6, 5 and 4 series. Uh, then we have got exercise tile here. Then we have food. Health summary, uh, this seems to be a new tile here. Health summary, we do not have here. Let me just check that. No, we do not have health summary tile here. We have got this brand new health summary. And then we have got a heart rate tile. And then we have got multi-sport tile here. Then we have sleep, route, and uh, steps, stress, together, water. Now, these are some of the brand new tiles that you're going to get when you get the all new update on your Galaxy watches. Now let's open the settings and see what are the kind of differences or what are the new options that we are going to get. Let's go to the top. We've got the profile. Then we have got connections. I've already checked there is no changes in the connections. Then we have modes. You see these icons are a little different for the modes here. Let me tap on this. Now we've got sleep, theater mode, driving mode, exercise, uh, relax and work mode. And I'll tap on one of the modes here. Now you see we have got an option to turn it on and we have got a brand new option turn on manually. Uh, we have got duration options here. You can select until I turn it off, ask every time, eight hours. So depending on your requirement, you can select the duration of this mode right here on the watch, whereas on the previous version, we do not have that option. Now on the all new version of One UI, modes can now automatically control more of your watch's settings based on what you're doing or where you are. Modes can control do not disturb, always on display, raise wrist to wake, touch screen to wake, touch bezel to wake, sound mode and disconnection alerts. All these can be controlled using modes feature, which is fantastic. Now let's go back. Now after modes, we have got notifications, sounds and vibration, display. Then we have got health here, whereas on the new version, we have got battery option. Let me tap on battery here. Now you see we have got power saving mode. And right after that, we have got a brand new option called limit health features. Now this is a very, very important feature that we have got. Now let me open a battery option here on this watch. We've got battery and device care. I'll tap on this. Now here I'll have to tap on battery and then you see we have got power saving mode here. 
Now on the older version, we do not have limit health features option. Whenever we turn on the power saving mode, the health features will continue to run on this watch. It will limit a lot of functions on the phone uh, to save the battery, but health centric features will run. Whereas on the uh, One UI Watch 6, we have an option to limit the health feature or run the health feature in the background. You see, we have got an option here. It says when power saving is on, the features below are turned off to save even more battery. So we can turn off all the health centric features like workout auto detection, high and low heart rate alerts, background heart rate, HRV, stress, skin temperature, and blood oxygen measurements. All this will be turned off if we enable this feature uh, that is going to save even more battery, which is a great feature that we have got on One UI 6. And you might want to turn it on in case if you're running out of juice. Now let's go back. Now here in the battery settings, you can also see we have got uh, a couple of more options here. Let me scroll down. You've got battery usage, which is not available here. Let me tap on battery usage here. You see, we have got the battery statistics right here. Whereas on the previous version, we do not have the battery statistics, battery usage statistics here. We have to check this on the phone on wearable application. Whereas on One UI 6.0, we have got the battery usage details here. You see it says 12 hour 33 minutes used since full charge. And we have got all those applications which are consuming the battery right here. It's all available to see on the watch itself. This is perfect. Now let's go back. You see we have got sleeping apps option. We've got sleeping apps here as well. Watch only mode. Then we have got some additional options here. Show charging information, auto power on. Now, if you have enabled this option, whenever you're charging your watch, it will show you the charging information, how much of the battery is charged and how much time it's gonna to take to fully charge the battery. That information is gonna show up when you uh, keep the watch on the charger. And we also have this fantastic feature, auto power on. Let's say your watch is dead and you start charging the watch. Automatically, the watch will turn on that is the toggle which is here. You can enable this. This is a fantastic feature. You don't really have to, again, go back to the watch after charging and turn it on. Automatically, the watch will turn on with this feature. And that feature will also come to the previous iteration of the watches. Now let's go back. Next, after this battery option, we have got buttons and gestures. Let me tap on this. Now here you see we've got quick button options. This is only for the Galaxy Watch Ultra, so this will not come to the previous iterations of the watches. However, if you scroll down, we've got more options. We've got home button settings here, and uh, we have got back button settings. Whereas on the previous version, we will have to go to advanced features, and then you scroll down to uh, see this customized button option. Let me tap on this. You see we've got uh, home button options. We've got home button options on the new version. Double press, let me tap on double press here. We've got all these accessibility, water lock, application options, which is the same on the new version. Then we've got press and hold option. We'll have the same options again. Then we've got back button short press option here. And after that, you see we've got gestures here. Now we've got double pinch, and then we've got shake to dismiss, knock knock gesture. All these gestures are there and we also have universal gestures. Let me tap on a double pinch here. Using this feature, you can pinch twice to answer calls, dismiss alerts, launch applications, control your music and take photos. All you need to do is just do a double pinch gesture here. Whenever you see the notification, the watch will tell you when to use this double pinch. So that is something new here. Let me go back here. Then we have got shake to dismiss and we have got knock knock feature. Uh, you can select an application for this particular uh, feature. You can choose an app or feature to launch. You can just do this knock knock gesture uh, to activate an application or any particular feature from the watch. On the previous version, we do have a gestures here. You can see we got gestures for answering calls. Let me uh, open this. You see, you can shake your arm twice, bending at the elbow to answer calls. And uh, we got dismiss alerts and calls option here. You can rotate your wrist twice to decline incoming calls or dismiss alerts such as alarms. And uh, we also have quick launch option. Let me tap on this. Uh, you can, you've got the same knock-knock option on the previous version also. So some of these features are available, but uh, pinch gestures are available now on the newer version so that you're going to get on the older watches as well. So that's what we are going to get under buttons and gestures. Then we've got Samsung Health, security and privacy. I'll come to Samsung Health in a bit. I will tap on security and privacy. We've got lock type here. Then we've got wrist detection option which was there before. Then we have got privacy dashboard here, which is not uh, available here on the previous version. Let me tap on privacy dashboard. You see the applications used, uh, the calendar not used in past 24 hours, call logs used by one application, camera not used in past 24 hours, contacts used by three applications, files not used in part, past 24 hours. So you will get to know uh, which are the services or uh, the uh, features that are used by the applications on the watch. If any app is using your microphone, uh, it will be recognized and it will show up right 
right here on privacy dashboard likewise any activities can be recognized right here on the privacy dashboard which is not currently available on the previous version and we should be getting it when we get the new update then we got location safety and emergency accounts and backup Google advanced features even on advanced features I don't see any new uh, options here you got disconnection alerts water lock customize buttons here and uh, auto launch media short uh, media controls show ongoing icon and a few other gesture options are all there under uh, advanced feature which have been moved to the uh, buttons uh, tab on the new version let me just go back now now let's look at some of the brand new health centric features which are currently available on one ui watch 6 and those features will also be coming to the predecessors like the galaxy watch 5 6 and 4 series let me open the uh, samsung health application here now energy score will also come to the predecessors uh, let me tap on energy score here you see this is the score that i've got out of 100 and uh, it is two points lesser than yesterday's energy score uh, it shows energy score factors we've got sleep time average excellent sleep time consistency excellent bed wake time uh, consistency excellent sleep timing good previous day activity attention uh, sleeping hr good sleeping hrv excellent hr during sleep hrv during sleep skin temperature during sleep respiratory rate during sleep it will accumulate all this data and then it will give you the energy score it will calculate the energy score and tell you how is your energy for the current day and based on which you can plan your activities that's a brand new feature we have next we have got steps uh, let me tap on steps and see if there are any changes distance calories floors steps by time of the day that's it let's go back we got exercise let me tap on this you see we have got a brand new tile here multi-sport option now this multi-sport feature may or may not come to the predecessors i'm not 100 percent sure but let me show you how it works uh, let me tap on multi-sport you see we've got triathlon duathlon and aquathlon this is all the presets that we have and we can also tap on add to uh, select exercises for a custom multi-sport workout we can tap on add exercise to add different exercises to create our own multi-sport workout now this is a brand new feature that we have got now let me just start a particular workout here let me tap on other workout let me start other workout here you see the workout has started here let me see what is it going to show me here uh, you see we've got the heart rate zones uh, shown like this and this is a new uh, representation of heart rate zone here uh, we have got uh, the uh, horizontal bar here whereas here we have got a curved bar which shows the heart rate zones let me just go up now yeah that is all we have got here now let me tap on the finish button here you see this is the menu we are going to get there is no change here i can tap on settings here you see workout screen HR zone guide we have got auto guide we have here screen always on screen always on option we have got here as well let me go back and let me tap on finish here then we have got sleep we have got more advanced sleep tracking now on the latest version of uh, one ui because uh, samsung is using the ai the ai is powering the sleep insights to give us more detailed and accurate analysis of your sleep quality there is a comprehensive sleep report that we are going to get which includes the heart rate respiratory rate and the amount of time it takes you to fall asleep after you lie down now let me tap on sleep here i've already measured the sleep yesterday night so let me show you how it looks you see it is telling me that i have slept for 7 hours 59 minutes I went to bed at 10.41 p.m. and I woke up at 6.51 a.m. This is the time when I got to bed to sleep and got up from the bed in the morning. But the actual sleep time, it is showing me right below that. So this 6 hour 47 minutes is the actual sleep time, which means uh, the moment I got to the bed, I did not sleep off. I was uh, reading book and I was uh, talking with my wife. So it took about uh, 20 to 30 minutes for me to sleep. And that is the actual sleep time, which is showing up right here. Then we've got sleep score. And then we've got sleep stages and we also have this new option movement there is a spike every few minutes here you see that is my body movement while sleeping then we have got uh, the awake time rem sleep light sleep deep sleep option which is there on the previous version also and now we have got additional information blood oxygen time under 90 percent two minutes 42 seconds sleep skin temperature is shown here heart rate respiratory rate and sleep consistency is calculated right here. Now this is an in-depth sleep analysis we are going to get on the One UI Watch 6.0 and that is coming to the previous version of the One UI on your Galaxy Watch 5, 6 and 4 series. Now let's look at some of the important changes. Now let's say if I'm scrolling through the tiles here, now on the previous version I have to scroll the tiles one by one here 
uh, when, I, when I flick the screen, I will be able to scroll one by one here. Whereas on the newer version, we can flick the screen like this to scroll through the uh, notifications or tiles. It will not just shift to each tile, it will just scroll through the notifications or tiles, which is amazing. The next feature is viewing all the ongoing activities at once. Now let me just demonstrate that to you. Let's go to the exercise. I'll start an exercise here. I'll start walking. Now you see this is one activity which is going on on the watch. Uh, you can see that icon right here at the bottom. Now what I'll do is I will go to the stopwatch and I'll start running this stopwatch here. Now there are two activities going on on the watch. Now when I tap on this, you will be able to see both the activities right here. This is going to be useful if you want to check out all the ongoing activities on the watch. So this is a brand new feature which we have got on the all new iteration of One UI. Now the next feature is with regard to the notifications. Let me tap on settings and go to the notifications here. Now I'll tap on app notification. Now here we will be able to select the notifications that we want to see from a particular application. You see we've got different applications here. Let me tap on calendar. Now here if I don't want to see the notifications from calendar, I can turn this off. Uh, likewise, I can do this for any of the applications. We can choose which apps are allowed to send us notifications directly on the watch without opening the Galaxy Wearable app on your phone. So right now, we've got all these settings right here on the watch itself which is going to be very very useful and another thing is now whenever you get some image attachments on any of the notifications you will be able to press and hold it and save it inside the gallery so the saved items will be available inside the gallery which is a brand new feature we have got now these are some of the brand new features which are currently available on the uh, latest one ui watch 6 based on wear os 5 and uh, most of these features are coming to the previous versions of the galaxy watches which includes galaxy watch 5 galaxy watch 4 as well as the previous version the galaxy watch 6 series currently it is on beta and the stable version is going to hit most of the market probably uh, in the month of august Let's wait and see that. As soon as we get it, I will keep you guys posted. You guys let me know what do you think about these new features. Uh, in this video, we have already seen all the new features that are going to come on the uh, Galaxy Watch 6, 5 and 4. Uh, drop a comment and let me know. And uh, also be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're interested in knowing your Galaxy Watches and Galaxy Phones better. And give this video a like if you find this video informational. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.